You talk about Preston, you were saying two weeks until it all gets underway now with pre-season. Just in terms of the preparations, where are you right now in terms of off the field? Yeah, I think all the preparations are ready for pre-season. We've got all our games organised. We've got Newcastle at home, Burnley at home and a few lower league games. Go to Ireland for a week's training. We've signed three or four players already. We're looking to sign probably another three or four in the next two weeks if, if possible and then I've got all my squad together and before we report back it probably won't be that easy to do because other players might come available so yeah we're in good shape we're looking forward to it ultimately it's going to be tougher next year because of the, the level of money that's dro dropping down from the Premiership players that are dropping down um, but we'll give it our best shot and try and finish above 11th where we finished last year so we're uh, looking forward to it and I was going to say you mentioned Ireland there there's been a real contingent of Irish players coming in Maguire's the latest one to join in one player that I I've watched quite a bit at Shamrock was Daryl Hogan. What, what have you made of him since he came Yeah, in? he's done very well. Um, him and Andy Boyle both got onto uh, the, uh, the full squad. Daryl was uh, on the bench for the qualifying game the other day. Great lads, good work ethic, got good quality. Um, and when we signed him, um, it was a little bit of a gamble, but a, a gamble of um, at the low end because there were free transfers that, that proved how good they were. This year is going to be a big year for them and all our other players because they need to uh, keep working hard and keep improving. But uh, there's some little gems out in the Irish market has been proved in the last few years and, and uh, I'm sure people keep noticing. And how important is it that you get that groundwork in place nice and early to, to ensure you get the full pre-season? Yeah, look, there's no easy way to put it to the players that they're going to work hard for five, six weeks. And uh, what we've got to try and do, we've got to try and start the season a little bit better than we have done the last two years in the Championship because we're playing catch-up. And if we can do that, we, we might give ourselves a better opportunity to uh, to get to that top six. But it's going to be very tough. And uh, what we'll do is do our best to try and achieve anything that we can do.